All right, um, why am I here in my garage? Because this is a, a day in the life of a fishing guide video. We'll see if this one actually makes it, if you're watching it. Um, it means uh, the pieces were together. But um, people have asking, been asking for it. I've never seen a video like this, so I kind of want to give you a behind the scenes look at what it's like to be a fishing guide. Um, obviously, I'm not guiding right now. I'm tying flies. It's the night before my trip. Some guides like to tie all their stuff like I do. Some guides buy a bunch of stuff, but when it's 10, 30 something um, on Father's Day before your trip, there's not a fly shop open where I can get the things that I need. And if you guide full time, you will save money tying all your bugs, especially where I primarily guide on the lawn. You know, I blow through a lot of midgets. It's just the nature of the beast. Um, so I'm tying. What you haven't seen is I already spoke with my clients um, this afternoon. Um, but generally, I, I like to talk to my people about a week out before the trip and kind of touch base. And then I always call the night before or the day before to kind of lock down all the final details in case anything's happened, a weird weather pattern, rain in the forecast, things like that. I always want to make sure that to let people know that I'm thinking about the trip and I want to make sure they're going to have the best time possible on the water. Um, post pandemic, I don't do lunches anymore. So that's why you don't see me in the kitchen making sandwiches for the trip tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, that's really the only thing that's kind of changed uh, year over year for me. So I don't guide Sundays, but this month I've been on the water every day. I think for the year, I want to say I'm in the 80s right now for as many trips um, as I've completed. So we'll see how high we get up in there. I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm going to be in like the mid to high hundreds by the end of the year. So at this point in the season, you know, back to back to back to back just making sure you're staying on top of everything, making sure you have the bugs that you need, um, and making sure that you're reaching out to people and letting them know that each and every trip is important because it truly is. And you know, for a lot of people, they might not have a lot of time uh, to spend out on the water. So you really wanna make sure it's special with each and every single one of your clients. I know I do and I know that, you know, if I go out with a guide, I wanna make sure, you know, that they care. Uh, and that's really important. So uh, I'm gonna hit the vise hard and I will see you guys. I'm putting the boat in at 6.30, which is a little later than I'd like to put it in. Um, but there's kind of some scheduling conflicts. A guy's driving down from Denver, I think, right now. Um, so more power to you, I'll see you tomorrow. But um, my day will really get going um, after I'm done wrapping up here, no pun intended. And uh, we'll kinda, I'll take you through my day and show you what it's like to be a fishing guide, so follow along. Miss me? All right, I'm back, I'm here. I gotta get my boat bag in the truck as well as put some ice in my cooler, or my ice packs actually, cooler shock, the only way to go. I'll drop a link for those below. I'm still, still using them basically every day and still haven't bought ice. Um, and then I gotta get some waters. Um, I'll get some, myself some breakfast. And I was gonna wear this, um, but first impressions matter. I haven't, I haven't met this group, so uh, new, new people coming to About Trout. I'd be lying if I said I haven't worn this on a guide trip before. And actually, the fishing was great. But uh, we're just gonna clean up here, move the stuff to the truck, and uh, make sure we keep going down our checklist. So it begins, um, oh, update. So I totaled my Subaru like a month ago and I have a truck now, but I didn't know how to drive stick. So that was an entire fiasco. Also, um, I charged a second battery for this video um, and I left it because I usually don't bring that um, when I guide. Um, but I'm on autopilot because I got like an hour of sleep. Um, but that's what it is. I'm gonna go get caffeinated and make sure I'm at peak absolutely peak performance but this is it this is the behind the scenes behind the scenes so i like to give myself a buffer so i can get stuff rigged i gotta go grab my boat and then i have to fill out what's called a concession tag so every time that i guide in the state park um, i hang a tag on my windshield or my i'm sorry my rear view mirror uh, to let the park rangers know that i'm working and then i also fill out a ticket electronically they'll match that up and make sure i'm not a pirate um, so yeah, 
Uh, just going to the gas station now to get some water, get a burrito, and a bunch of caffeine, and I'll see you guys next at my boat locker. All right, I lied. Um, so, got some caffeine, I'm on my way. I just wanted to mention, so this part of the day, the pre-trip, um, kind of moment of silence, right? Get in the zone um, for, for the day ahead. Because basically, once I shake my people's hands, I'm working. Um, so, I'm gonna use this quiet time, so I like to have, have it before, you know, check emails, um, respond to emails from trips coming up, uh, get ready, little moment of zen, say a prayer, make sure to text my wife, things like that. And then once we get in the water, it's, it's hammer time. So now you'll see me um, <laughs> at my boat locker. But life of a fishing guy, I, I truly, I got the best job in the world. Nice to meet you, Michael. Nice to meet you. I just got out of anger management, so it's gonna be a great day. We won't talk about the incident, so. <laughs> concession tag is hanging right there I filled out my permit I'm just gonna leave some cash for the shuttle driver so that this bad boy will be there at the end of the day it is 636 we had a 630 meet time um, so everything is going to plan so far so good um, but yeah this is it this is the part where I park the truck tell my wife I love her and uh, kick it in the guide mode. So, wish me luck. Let the games begin. So it's an interesting river to guide on because you can't hide out here. Um, and there's a lot of really incredible guides that, that, that we all guide this river together. So always want to bring your A game. See you on the water. There they are. There we go. All right. Perfect. Set. Right after that twitch. Okay, it's back in there. That was great. You definitely got one eat, Michael. Let's see if we can make that two. Set. Atta boy. Pick it up back in there. Now we will get false positives. We're dredging right now. We're fishing <laughs> so much heavier than I usually do, but we have to do that to sink the fly because it's very water resistant. Atta boy. There you go. There it is. Let's double. First drift of the day. Doubles. <laughs> Boom. You are dead. Awesome. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm loving it. Boom. Get out of the way this time. It's just a lift and a spike. Another second double of the day. Yo. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> hey Mike, let me show you something. Yeah. Boom. Like, yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Michael's on fire. 
Alright, you guys you guys get the gist. I gotta save power, so this will come on in a sec. I gotta do my job. I always I always believed in you. <laughs> Alright, come around, buddy. Con conceive it, believe it, achieve it. Ah, in the net. I used to play lacrosse. <laughs> really? I played left out. Yeah, back yeah. to back. The secret is drenching these in power bait. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Come on. Little gar garlic, Come garlic and marshmallows. Come on, Adam. I believe. Make it happen, Captain. Sorry. Catch. Thanks for letting me do that. Um. Yeah, he's heavy. Okay. That's, oh, a, good fish, that's a good fish. He's in the gob. Right in the gob. There it is. There it is. There's the money right there. Oh yeah, you're nice and heavy. All right, release him. Got him. Perfect. I'll airdrop to you. La Bajena. Come on back up your bike. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, I think we found him now. Yeah, I like this better too. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Sail away. <laughs> Um, perfect. Make me proud, boys. I He's like, I don't like that. No, I don't like pulling that way. Do you want me to chase him? Nah. If he comes untagged, then so be it. I'm gonna make him run upstream a little bit. All right, it's been a great day. Switching it up, doing some techier nymph stuff, and uh, set, all right, set, he's gonna come to right, you. I right, time the net. I got Excalibur, baby. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah. He's right in the mat. No, you got him. He ate the. One that denied you first time? Yeah, the one that was just sitting next to my. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Nothing but a wee breeze. White caps. One of these before. <laughs> All right, an awesome day with Michael yes. and Adam, and uh, I just you missed me backing in with my uh, stick, sh stick shift skills, but all I got to do is put this thing away, and that is the day in the life of a fishing guide. So, see you next time. <laughs> I'm back home, back at the vice, back out again tomorrow. Uh, that is the day in the life of a fishing guide. Um, I put my boat away. I didn't think it was that important to see that. Um, I got home, sent some emails, contacted some clients, and then I just crashed. I fell asleep on the floor. Um, been going pretty hard back to back to back to back. Uh, but I woke up, made some more phone calls, and I'm gonna hit the vice. Uh, but that is the day in the life of a fishing guide. We're right back where it started, night before, about to go whip up some bugs. And I just wanna say shout out to Michael and Adam. Um, they are rock stars. They are definitely rare roses. Very, very experienced. It was really awesome to work together as a team, put a bunch of fish in the bag. Um, obviously I was working, you know, so I couldn't record all of it, but you'll, you know, you got the gist. It was really an amazing day out there um, on the San Juan. So thank you so much everybody for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.